The year is 2051. Through Milton's desire to be a progressive, vibrant, and thriving community, it grew. Growth that will require addressing some challenges along the way. Right now, one of those is the labor shortage, and it was part of the conversation over breakfast. The way you attract talent is build a community that has exceptional quality of place, a place where people want to live, a place that has all of the assets, uh, libraries, schools, transit system that's viable, parks that function nice, events that work well, and an affordable level of government. Affordable housing was also top of mind. Building up instead of out is one part of Milton's strategic plan. The mayor says he's also interested in exploring ways to make better use of other areas. Maybe a better use of government land. And again, not only the Allendale site, but a site right adjacent to that is known as EC Dury Lands, that at least in my opinion is underutilized, that could be used for affordable housing and other uses as, as well. New builds are not the only option the town is looking at as a way to alleviate some of the affordable housing crisis. Homeowners could discover new options for their properties. I am speaking about a basement apartment. It could be a second floor unit. It could be a completely self-contained unit in the rear yard of an existing house. And the new legislation that was just announced by the province allows for three residential units on one lot. So we're working very hard behind the scenes to make sure that we're putting those additional units in the right places. As the population grows, transportation corridors, including public transportation options, will need to expand as well. To get around Milton is one thing, but to attract the talent and, and go outside of our borders and, and vice versa is, is another. And so there's been a lot of work done on fare integration. Scott shared that there's also an on-demand transit pilot project to serve areas that don't yet qualify for regular service. And the diesel bus fleet is being converted to electric, which she believes is the first in Canada. The Milton, the Milton Educational, Educational Village and the post-secondary post options, which will accompany it, is another facet of the plan, which includes both Wilfrid Laurier University and Conestoga College. The college is set to open a campus in town next year, beginning with about 2,000 students and growing into that 2051 plan. We'll have at least 10,000 students here. A full range, engineering, trades, uh, health, etc. But it'll be done in phases. It's going to be a key to all of our success. A well-educated community is a very prosperous community. Jason Trout, Halton News in Milton.